Καλησπέρα σας καλοί φίλοι τηλεθεατές. Good evening to you. I have to turn to English tonight. Welcome to our show, Faces, Prosopa. It's Sunday and it's uh, time for um, our show and tonight I have a new face. And I like to introduce this lady to you. Her name is Michelle James. Good evening, Michelle. Good evening, Vasilis. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's nice to have you in my uh, show. My pleasure. Places. Thank you. Well, um, you like traveling? I do a lot. Yes. You do, yes? yes. Okay, shall we travel, you know, back to the future? Go well, how far back? Ah, well, <laughs> shall we go to, uh, you know, how long ago? Uh, a few years back. Young age. Young age. Yes. You born in London? Yes, I'm born in London, North London. North London. Yeah. North London. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. not far away from here. Highgate. Your parents are. Um, your mother, I suppose. My she's mother's. Uh, she's uh, she's Belgian. She's from Belgium. Yes. And your father is. Uh, My English. father's English, a Londoner. Okay, yeah. but um, they they got married here, or they they met after the war. After the war. The Second World War, and. Uh, My father taught English uh -huh. in, a, in, a, in an evening class school in Belgium. In Belgium, and okay. that's where he met my mother. She was a, a she was learning a English. Student, a yes, student, learning, yes, uh, yeah. uh, English as a foreign language. Yes, that's right. That's it, yeah. So she, uh, he managed to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, bring her over here. Yes? That's right. And they he, got married here in yeah, England. Yes. Yeah. How many um, children do they have? Uh, myself and my brother. Okay. Just two. Your brother is uh, younger, or yeah, seven years younger. Is is he, you know, involved in art as well? Or? No, he's not. No, he's um, he works uh, for the post office the in post office. Uh, in Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, you're still living in uh, North London, I suppose. Oh yes, yes. 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 Yeah. And you have one daughter. I have one daughter. Okay, and your husband is a very famous guy. Yes, he at is. least I mean he's famous in our community. I can mention names. You can yes because <laughs> uh, he's working uh, with LGR. That's correct. And every yeah. morning every you hear morning. him talking about you know yes. all these uh, happenings, yes. all this kind of thing. Yeah. His name is Michael James. That's correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. Michael James. So uh, where have you met with Michael? Oh uh, my God! Um, I met my husband in a nightclub. Nightclub in Stringfellows uh -huh. in the West End. St Yeah, long time ago. Yeah, right? long time ago. Oh yeah. my God, 26 was a, years ago. Was, yeah, you, you you were a regular there, or you just? Yes, I used to go there every week. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, with my friends. And um, you got married. Yes, and uh, yes. had my daughter. And uh, yeah. what's uh, your daughter's name? Danielle. Danielle, and she's um, uh, studying, or she finished studies? She's finished studying. She's uh, she got a degree oh, in okay. a university in Leeds. And uh, she came back to us, mm -hmm. and she's still with us. Okay. Now we know nearly everything about you yeah. and about your family. Mm -hmm. We want to know how uh, you get involved with art, you know, because you are a very good artist. Thank you. Painter. Yeah. I've seen quite a few uh, yes. of your uh, paintings, yes. and I love them, actually. And shall we show this one just to, yes. to start with? Yes, means. And then you explain to me what this, how you made yes. this, you know yes. what I mean? Shall we see this, please? It's a it's a very unusual painting. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I can see, you know, like flowers and all this. Yes. Uh, how are you doing this? I mean. Um. Well, I obviously get a lot of my inspiration from where I go to. I, for example, I could visit some gardens, a park. Mm -hmm. um, I could go to a seashore. You know, and then uh, I especially in Cyprus, in especially yes. in Cyprus, especially in Cyprus, with the lovely uh, white sand and uh -huh. blue, crystal clear seas, okay. and uh, I get my inspiration from that. And I don't draw anything; it's all in the mind, all in you know. I, I sort yeah. of imagine uh -huh. the painting, yes. And I start with a blank canvas, as you can see, uh -huh. and all this is raised by um, a texture. It's like a modelling. Uh, Like a plaster of Paris, if you yes, like, yes. and it sets, and then you use all different tools uh -huh. um, to get this effect, okay. this raised effect. And then you do. And the then I do the art afterwards. There, yes. I, I add the the flowers, mm -hmm. um, butterflies, whatever, whatever comes to my mind yes. for that painting. That time, yes. And I let this set, mm -hmm. and then the following day I do the painting. Okay. And it's acrylic, acrylic paints. Yes. 
How long you start doing this kind of? Um, um, that will probably take about two days. That two painting. days, yeah? yes, with the okay. drying and the and the finishing. Yeah. And I keep adding to it uh -huh. until it's perfect. All right. It, it's uh, it's your uh, proper you know um, job. You are not doing anything else, you know. No, it's not my proper job, unfortunately, because uh, they're not. There's very few rich artists. Uh -huh. um, so I, I've got other well, yes. jobs. Yeah, I do inventories yeah. and. Uh, yeah. I help Michael sometimes, you know, with things he's doing. Um, I have an, an elderly mother, so yeah. I get involved with that. When you say you help <clears throat> Michael, you're doing, I mean, you're working with kids, I suppose. You're doing something? Uh, uh, well, I, I raise yeah. funds for a charity. Ah, okay. So I'm doing that, you know, once uh -huh. a week, yes. um, which, I, which sort of my heart's in that as well, mm -hmm. you know. But I hope one day I'll make a, a big name and um, I can sell my art and yeah. live, live on that, you know. Did you have uh, exhibitions in the past? Yes, I've had several. Um, the, the most recent one was at Lauderdale House, which was um, in, near Highgate Village. Mm -hmm. um, and that went on for two weeks. And it was very successful. I sold quite a lot of paintings. I had uh, in total about 24, and probably I sold about eight paintings. Mm -hmm. um, all varied, all different, because I do spin art as well, which is a, t a totally different um, thing. Um, this is uh, used with a machine mm -hmm. as well as palette knives and paint brushes etc you know and I use inks oil mm -hmm. paints um, so it's all different types of mediums that I use yeah where are your customers coming from I mean what kind of people um, are visiting your they're, exhibitions? They're usually they're usually business people they mm -hmm. have I've got a couple of um, uh, clients that I've done um, couple of jobs for which is in their in their establishment where they own an office mm -hmm. in the West End um, and I did about half a dozen paintings in black and white they like black and white and silver only mm -hmm. they don't like colors <clears throat> so I did that for them as so like a commission um, so I measured the walls uh, they asked me what they wanted you know and the colors and I went away came back with five paintings and they were very happy so, so that's one client they're uh -huh. regular uh -huh. Uh, so I mean, you get orders. For example, yes. they ask you. They're asking you about what kind of uh, yeah. you know paintings they yeah. want, and you just yes. go out and do them for that's them. That's right. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. Or I might be um, <coughs> restaurants and, and bars and things like that. You know, where they've got a very plain wall and mm -hmm. they want vibrant colours, um, so they can come to me and ask me. I've got a website. They can look me up on the internet. Um, so they can get an idea of what I do, mm -hmm. and if they're interested, then I, I do a commission for them. Yeah. Um, what is your uh, connection with Cyprus? I mean, you, you visit Cyprus very often with your husband. Yeah, well, my connection, it started off, uh, it's a long story, I, I, um, kind of long story short, we had a, a little taverna we used to go to in North London, mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, owned by Cypriot people, and they said to us that if we went to hol on a holiday there, we'd never look back we'd end up buying a place, and that's what we did. Yes. We had a beach apartment in a Plotaras, uh -huh. which is very nice, and we visit two or three times a year if we can. Um, so, and I've got over the years, it's probably nine, ten years now we've had that, and I've made, we've made a lot of friends, um, local people, mm. you know, and I just love it. Uh, it has everything, nice yeah. warm weather, very friendly people, good food. Um, and lovely beaches, you know, yes. which I love. You make friends there, and yes. I mean, you, you yes. are known to them already. Yes, yes. yes. And, uh, and obviously with Michael's connections at LGR, uh -huh. that's helped, you know. That's all right. Because it's, when we go there, it's business <coughs> and pleasure. So it's, yes. uh, it's um, I suppose you have uh, Greek friends here because of Michael. Yes, yes. yes. And, um, you know, uh, do they, um, uh, you know, um, uh, talk to you about Cyprus and uh, suggest that, uh, you know, it's a good idea to spend time in Cyprus? Yes, yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. Different yeah. areas to go to. They've suggested different villages and different areas. Um, and we've covered quite a lot in the 10 years we've been there, you know. Mm -hmm. There's obviously places we haven't been to as yet, but I'm sure we'll get there, you know. How many um, hours a day you spend painting? Well, it, it varies. I mean, um, once I start painting, you know, I can't stop. It's, it's, it's one of those things. It can be, I could do a painting in half a day. I might take two or three days. Mm. And it depends on the size. I do really large paintings. 
and that sometimes can take a week in between yes. other things that I do, you know. Mm -hmm. so what, uh, which time is the best uh, to sit down and just... Uh, and I would think first thing in the morning. First I've thing, got the best yes. light you have to a, work for. You have a, you know, a relaxed mind as yes, well. Yes, something. first yes. thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I finish maybe in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And that's the best time to do it, yeah. Okay, so uh, what are your future plans? Do you have my any future, future plans? plans? Yeah. Um, well, my future plans, I'd like to be... I'd like to be, uh, I'd like to have my name up there, you know, with the, with some of the famous artists. Mm -hmm. I think that's all artists would like to do, you know, um, and make a career out of it, you know, as opposed to selling them all the time. Mm -hmm. Whereas maybe I just sell them sometimes, you know, when I have an exhibition yeah. or through through friends of friends, if you like. It's not it's not consistent. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, that's what I really would like to do, um, and maybe take it as far as Cyprus, because we are trying to you, get this you abroad. Plan it to, yes. You plan it to have an exhibition yes, there? in Cyprus, I, yeah. I think it's a good yeah. idea, yes, yeah. definitely, yes. Have you done uh, one exhibition uh, in, uh, in North London before, you know? Um, well, I've had several. Um, we have one at, uh, I think it was Bruce Castle at Tottenham, that was one, mm -hmm. that's North London. Um, and then the other one was Lauderdale House. And I've got this one, which is uh, in West London. So yes, mm -hmm. I've, got quite, I've had quite a few now. What are the sizes usually? What, you know, are they bigger um, than this one? Or? Well, they start very small. And mm -hmm. I, could probably, I could probably do a really big one. Um, I would say the biggest one I've probably done is uh, five foot, say six by five, mm -hmm. you know, quite a landscape or something very large for a big wall. Mm -hmm. uh, and then of course I do all different shapes, rectangular, square, uh, and sometimes round. And I frame them sometimes as well. So it's all really what the customer wants. Yes, framed. Framed, yeah. yeah. Um, what are the prices? I mean, you Well, know, they vary. I, I, can do, I can do a really small one, yes. 50 pounds, uh -huh. and then they can go up to a thousand. Up to thousand, the the yeah. very large ones, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of work involved yes. and a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And obviously the uh, paints, etc., are very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's not a cheap, because um, at the moment it's a kind of hobby, you know, going into a business. And it's quite expensive, you know, to do. Do you have any, from your exhibitions, do you have any, uh, you know, people coming in like... Um, uh, reporters, uh, media and uh, cover it and... Well, we've uh, had... Do you have reports and um, what are they, their yeah, opinion I have, about? I have, I have had, I've had some and they've actually quite liked the work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we had some at the last, uh, last um, exhibition in Lauderdale House, which my husband dealt with because he does the business side. Mm -hmm. And they were quite interested. And I did get um, a picture of um, the exhibition. Um, I think it was in the Highgate, the Ham and High. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a popular paper in North yes. London. And I've got a, a page of my exhibition in there. Mm. So it's quite, you know, fame at last. That's good. Yeah. And now you have another page, but the full programme yes. on uh, it's very nice. Helen TV, yes. which is nice. You yes. know what I mean? So what do you want to say to our, uh, you know, people, audience, that about your paintings? Why do they have to come and see your exhibitions and to buy the paintings. They get to meet me, have a talk about the paintings, mm -hmm. and I sell them. And it would make a very nice Easter present to somebody, you know. Exactly, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Or might be a Christmas. A Christmas, uh, yeah, yes. a late present in the or year. Or might be a yeah. birthday present yes, or whatever. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yes. So um, usually where you get your inspiration, uh, you know, inspirations from, I mean, usually for this, okay, from uh, uh, flowers and all this, yeah. but other paintings, where you get it um, from? Well, as I said before, I think it's all to do with the mood that I'm in uh, on the day. The inspiration I get from wherever I am on that day, you know, if mm -hmm. I'm in a park or on the beach or in a town, because I've done some landscape ones, um, and that's how I do my art. It's do you not have to spend memory. time there or you go home and... I go know, home and reflect yeah. and, uh -huh. then I, and then reflect. I put it to the canvas, mm -hmm. you know, on the Sorry. canvas. That's good. That's where I get my inspiration. Okay, it's good. Anyway, it's, it's nice to have yes. you here tonight. I mean, uh, obviously we learn more about you and uh, I'm sure people are going to come to your exhibitions and, uh, I hope so, yes. you know, um, seeing this, yes. I like it. So 
must be more people like me. Yeah, you know, I hope so, yes. And they're coming by it. Yeah. And one day when you become famous, more famous, and rich, you know, do not forget. No, I won't forget you. <laughs> you came to Rue Hellenic TV, okay? Oh, I'll remember you. Yes, please. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank Michelle. you very much. It's been nice this. to have you. And I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. And um, when you have uh, news again, mm -hmm. you can always welcome and come and talk to us about Thank it. Thank you very much. Okay? Thank you for having me. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That's, that's it. Αυτά, καλή φίλη τηλεθεατές, Μισελ Τζέινς Λιμπόν, η οποία έχει και καλή σχέση με την παρικία μας εδώ, καθώς και με την Κύπρο, τουλάχιστον τρεις φορές το χρόνο, ξοδεύει αρκετές μέρες στον Πρωταρά, εκεί στην περιοχή του ε, Πρωταρά, έχει το δικό της σπίτι και έχει, παίρνει πολλές ιδέες και οι ζωγραφίε της είναι πολλές από αυτές βασισμένες πάνω στην ισομορφία της Κύπρου. Κάπου εδώ θα σας καλυφθήσω και πάλι με την ελπίδα ότι θα τα πούμε και πάλι την ερχόμενη εβδομάδα την ερχόμενη Κυριακή, την ίδια ώρα. I have to say thank you to Michelle again and uh, thank you to you and um, good night for the time being and uh, looking forward to see you next uh, Sunday at the same time with a new face or faces. Until then, look after yourselves. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.